Okay, so in this problem, we're going to maximize a revenue function. It says the unit price of an item affects its supply and demand. That is, if the unit price goes up, the demand for the item will usually decrease. If prices go up, people don't want to buy as much. For example, a local newspaper currently has 84,000 subscribers at a quarterly charge of $30. Market research has suggested that if the owners raise the price to 32, they will lose 5,000 subscribers. Assuming that subscriptions are linearly related to the price. Okay, now that's going to be important that we recognize that. What price should the newspaper charge for a quarterly subscription to maximize their revenue? Okay, so revenue, how do you figure out how much money you're making if you're the newspaper company? You take how many, um, you take the price that you're charging times um, the number of subscribers. So um, we'll go ahead and use P for price, and the book uses Q for subscribers, so why not? We'll use that. So we're going to say that's how you find revenue. You take the price times the subscribers. Okay. That's going to be subscribers. Price is going to be Q. Okay. Now we have to go back to this idea of things being linearly related. So we know the price, okay, if the price is $30, so I'm going to do an ordered pair of price and subscribers. That's what's linearly related, the how many subscriptions we have and the price. Okay, we know when the price is 30, the um, subscribers are 84,000. And when the price goes to 32, then we lose 5,000, so that's going to be what, 79,000? Okay, those are two ordered pairs when we're talking about price and subscriptions. So when you, if you wanted to draw a little graph, as the price is increasing, so if this is P and this is Q, as the price goes up, um, subscriptions go down. So it's a linear function like that. That was a Q. Of, okay, well, it's supposed to be a Q. All right. I can find the slope of that line. The slope then is going to be 84,000 minus 79,000, which I probably didn't really need to write all that because we already know, um, and 30 minus 32. Now, we knew it was going to be negative, but it's 5,000 over negative 2 or negative 2,500. That would be the slope. All right. So now, if I want to use a point and slope to find the equation. So it's going to be y um, minus 30. Oh, no, no, no. y minus 84,000 equals the slope times x minus 30. So we can get some numbers here. Okay. And I switched to X and Y from my P and Q, but we'll fix that. Um, okay, so if I add the 84,000, oh, what is that? Um, one, five, nine, three. Okay, 159,000. This then is the equation for P and Q. So Q was the output and P was the input. So I'm putting in the P and Q the way they're supposed to be. Okay, that means I can substitute that in for the Q here. So my revenue based on the price is going to equal P times negative 2,500 P plus 159,000. I'm running into my line. Okay, and that's going to be negative 2,500 P squared plus 159,000 P. Okay, and I want to maximize this. This is a function. It's a quadratic function, but I want to maximize it. So that means I have to find the vertex. 
Um, and what is the question asked? So I don't do too much work. I'm looking for the price that I should charge. I'm looking for P. Okay, so I'm looking for the input. We won't worry about how much money we're going to make. All right, so I just have to find the opposite of B over 2A. That's going to be the input for P for us. Okay, so it's going to be the opposite of 159,000. So that's like B, right? Over 2 times negative 2,500. Okay, so it's going to be positive. Oh, I think I got an extra zero in there. Um, yeah, so you can cancel those three zeros with those three zeros. You're just dividing them both by a, um, a thousand. So then that makes it a little bit easier. So now I want to know how many times does 5 go into 159? So I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator because um, I want the price uh, to the cents. So 159 divided by 5, I get $31, I get 31.8. So apparently the price should be 31.8. That will maximize our profits. All right.